Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to talk about coin count and strategy. Now one of the most common questions I get on the channel is how many coins do I need and normally that's directed at how many coins do I need to get rich or to hit a certain dollar amount. Now I can't tell you exactly how many coins to buy because that's a personal decision as well as there are a lot of variables in there. But I can make a case to strategize and get the most coins at the best price. Let's talk about it. Normally when I get this question, it's normally directed as how many coins do I need to get rich or to make a million dollars or a high six figure number? And the answer to that question has really always been the same, which is a lot. The only way you can kind of guarantee those numbers or regardless of whether the price hits a and like an absurd amount of uh, value per coin, if you have a lot of coins, it'll normally eliminate that problem. All the people that have generated six figure profits with uh, Dogecoin um, became Dogecoin millionaires. They got in early and they have a lot of coins. Will we see that same multiplier going forward? Probably not, but you can still get several hundred percent as we uh, increase utilization and work out our partnerships. There's only a couple formulas that you really need to kind of solve this problem, but the main one is going to be uh, current price times coin count or coin count times current price, whichever way you want to do it. That's going to be the main focus as far as for um, determining how much, uh, how many coins you need to hit a certain dollar amount. So let's say for example, your goal was to um, hit $20,000 in Dogecoin uh, with after a multiplier of let's say two roughly from where we are now. You figure, hey, the high of Dogecoin was 72 cent. Um, I believe it can at least get back there and I don't care about uh, Doge One or I don't know what a smart contract is, whatever the case may be, I think that Dogecoin can at least get back to 72 cent. And my goal is to pull $20,000 out of Dogecoin. Well, simple math, you can just take 20,000, divide it by 0.72, you're gonna get a number like 27,777. And that's gonna be the amount of coins that you're gonna need. So you would need 27,000 times 777 and you would multiply that by the current coin price and that's gonna give you your evaluation for what it's at now. And if you wanna have your sell point at 72 cent, then obviously you know how much money you have. And for me, it's easier to set these kinds of goals as far as for um, having like a certain price within mind so that I can shoot for something. And even if my goal ultimately is larger, um, I'll set like the smaller ones first and move up incrementally. A perfect example of this was I was at like 10,000 subscribers about um, a few weeks ago actually and I set my new goal for 15,000 and a lot of people are like hey you know you need to set it higher and my ultimate goal is a lot higher. I plan to um, hit 100,000. I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers but I know for me personally those smaller goals and doing them in increments that lights more of a fire inside of me versus setting something that's 10 times um, out of you know where I'm currently from right now. Those smaller increments, that helps me with motivation. So that's normally why I move my uh, subscriber count. I, I use the same approach as far as like investing. If I want to take on a large position, that's normally why I'll move it in smaller increments. And now we're, we're headed uh, very quickly toward 40,000 subscribers. So that typically that motivates me to um, put, uh, be more consistent as far as in videos and make sure I'm putting the best quality out there as possible versus just me just cranking out a bunch of videos like, oh my God, I got to get to 100,000 or something like that. This just helps me keep in line with the core values I have for the channel as well as a person. And you're going to have to make those decisions as an investor. Everyone's different. You know what motivates you and you know what uh, keeps that motivation over the long term. You're going to have to adjust that and apply that to your um, investing portfolio so that you can be motivated and hit those goals, whether that's um, investing once a month or periodically. You know that and you're going to have to apply that to your investing strategy. Speaking of strategy, um, you can look at this pretty much two ways. That's how I do it. Um, you can look at this from like a DCA approach and just be like, hey, every month on the 15th, um, I'm putting in 100 bucks and regardless of price. And you can certainly do that. A lot of people do it that way. It just you know eliminates as far as trying to strategize and looking at charts. They just know that they added $100 um, over the course of every month. Um, 
primarily what I do is because the crypto market is very predictable and we have a lot of charts and I was mentioning this correction like long before it happened um, you can pretty much just allocate hundred dollars but set it aside because you know that there'll be like a correction or a pullback and normally we fall into the window that we're in right now and you can accumulate uh, the most amount of coins at great prices and when you do something like this this is going to align you with history you're going to have charts behind you and this is also going to take off a lot of the stress as far as for oh my gosh should i buy now what if it dips lower and all this um a lot of the a lot of the uh questions and concerns a lot of people have this will eliminate that because you're going to have charts and history on your side and for those of you that are new i'm going to briefly um, cover what the window is so pretty much um, historically um, after a bull run cryptos crash by 50 to 80 percent so for dogecoin that's going to put us in the 36 cents to the 14 cents window and so pretty much historically speaking anything within that window would set you up great for the next bull run so when you're um, investing um, particularly in crypto you'll see um, like bitcoin uh, ethereum they'll all fall within that window and then you'll that's where you'll see the um, the greatest amount of profit so that 30 percent window is literally um, makes all the difference before you before they rally to an all-time high and then the floor moves up so set your goals and decide as far as for what strategy you're going to use but as far as for money and how many coins you need um, those you know the, the most amount of profit is made in times like this so it's it's when it's quiet um, it's when it's uh, doge is not in the news every day um, you know the, a lot of the people that um, invested when uh, doge was less than a penny it wasn't being talked about that much um, I got in most of my doge is at around five cents. It wasn't breaking headlines. It wasn't um, being mentioned with Ethereum and none of that cool stuff. When it's quiet, that's when you need to be investing. It's better to buy those things when they're out of style versus when they're in. That's when you're going to get the best deals. I did this with uh, Dogecoin with my uh, DCA around like five cents. I did this with um, Marathon Petroleum with my DCA um, less than five dollars. I did this with uh, Plug Power with my DCA less than six dollars i even did this with amc with my dca less than ten dollars um, when you uh, take on this approach and you pretty much you know look at history and look at the charts and you take on aggressive approach it really sets you up for the future uh, diamond hands and coin count or share count they win this game almost every time thank you for watching uh, if you'd like to be a part of the email list or join my private community i'm going to have a link uh, in the description where you can do that um, just fill out the form and it'll um, send you everything and it'll add you to the uh, email list if you're looking to diversify your portfolio um, i have a link to webull which you can also trade dogecoin in the description and if you deposit or open your account with a hundred dollars um, you'll get two free stocks with up valued up to sixteen hundred dollars but you have to open the account with a hundred dollars in order to get those that extra stock with a higher value if you're not on YouTube often, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My Instagram handle is I am David Mitchell Jr. My Twitter is JR David Mitchell. And you can also, if you want to contribute to the channel or to like any of the research that's done, you can also contribute. I'm going to put a uh, link to the Patreon account as well in the description. Thank you. And until next time.